Opportunity, when you seize it, it makes your dreams come true. Lincoln has taught me to look at individuals as in a team. Every lesson that you learn while you're in high school leads or has an impact into the person that you become. If it wasn't for my friends and the teachers that I've met here, I wouldn't be where I am today. I, I think I learned what kind of person I was here at Lincoln. For a century, generations of students passed through the gates of Abraham Lincoln High School and received an opportunity for success. Judges, architects, professional athletes, activists, artists, and actors all built their foundation for success here in these halls. Abraham Lincoln High School first opened its doors in 1913. It sat high atop Enchanted Hill, overlooking the diverse community of what was then known as East Los Angeles. From day one, the school reflected the larger community. All students, regardless of race or ethnicity, had an opportunity for an education here. And yet, the school suffered a staggeringly high dropout and juvenile delinquency rate. Then, a redheaded force for positive change walked through the doors of Lincoln. Ethel Percy Andrus was hired as assistant principal in 1916. A year later, she became the first woman in California to have the opportunity to lead a high school. Her goal as principal was to share opportunity with her students. As an alternative to the streets, she offered after-school activities and community service opportunities. By this point, the word opportunity now stretched across the entrance gate of the school, so every student who entered was aware of the opportunity education presented for a better life for themselves and their community. Andrews pushed to further integrate the school and community by renaming the neighborhood Lincoln Heights, and her efforts were a success. Then in 1933, all she'd built was nearly destroyed when the Long Beach earthquake devastated Lincoln Heights and wrecked many of Lincoln's beautiful buildings. Still, class went on, intense on school grounds. The school board recommended completely relocating Lincoln, but Andrews rallied the students and the community to keep it where it was. When construction ended in 1937, all the old Lincoln High School buildings were gone and an all new Lincoln High stood in its place just down the hill from the original location. Even in this era of upheaval, the Lincoln High School Tigers claimed the 1935 city section title in football. The team was led by star running back Kenny Washington. He would continue on to be the first consensus All-American for UCLA and the first African-American player to integrate the NFL when he signed with the LA Rams in 1944. Despite victory in the face of destruction, a few short years later, Lincoln was rattled once again when the U.S. entered World War II in 1941. Nearly 1,500 Lincoln students and alumni served, including 1940 graduate and Medal of Honor recipient Sato Munomori, who valiantly sacrificed his life to save two of his men. In honor of the Lincolnites fighting overseas, students did what they could to help the war effort. Victory Maid sold war stamps during lunch hour, and Lincoln became the first school to fly the Minuteman flag, symbolizing the nine out of every 10 students who bought war stamps each month. Just as World War II was coming to an end, Andrus retired at the end of the 1944 school year. It was the end of an era, but the opportunity, pride, and activism she instilled remained. By 1968, Lincoln's majority Latino population had grown weary of the treatment of Mexican-American students within the LA School District. Teacher Sal Castro and alumnus Moctezuma Esparza encouraged students to fight for equal rights. So on March 1st, the students of Lincoln led a coordinated month-long walkout of 15,000 Chicano students from five schools across East LA. They demanded the school board offer an equal, culturally relevant education. And although their demands were never met, the walkout galvanized the Mexican-American youth and the Chicano rights movement. I believe the 1968 walkouts were very pivotal in offering 
an open door to Latino students um, for going to college. It kind of all ties back to the pride you have in the school and its history and how you were a part of that history. It was girls' rights that made national news in 1999 when four girls from Lincoln made high school football history. Never before had such a large number of girls held a spot on a varsity football team in the greater Los Angeles area. Yeah, camaraderie, friendships, loyalty. Having come to Lincoln High School was a blessing actually to me because uh, uh, the people that I met here, the teachers that educated me, the friends that I made encouraged me uh, to go on to do better things. Every facet of my life, I've always felt that uh, I had to do the right thing. As I th think about Lincoln High School, I always, for whatever reason, see the man, Lincoln. And the success that I've achieved in my life, I have to attribute to what was given to me here in Lincoln High School. Opportunity. It's the undercurrent of Lincoln High School. Those who grasped it made a positive impact on their industry, their community, their country, and on the legacy of the alma mater that shaped them. Lincoln High School, a hundred years of creating opportunity for generations of success.